So there it is, my brand new DeWalt DW734 thickness planer. Pretty excited about it. I'm getting ready to run some wood through it. Haven't used it yet. Still setting it up, reading the manual. But for those of you wondering if you should get a planer or a jointer first, I've seen mixed reviews. If you have a really fixed budget, people say you should buy a, a planer first because you can kind of do both the work. But uh, let me show you the manual right here. If you read that section, it says if both sides of a material are very rough, of the material is cupped, bowed or twisted, the planer may not produce the desired result. Ideally, you should have at least one level surface on your material before you plane. Your thickness planer will work best with material that has been run through a jointer to produce one flat surface. If you do not have at least one flat surface on a jointer, see the following recommendations. And none of these are good recommendations. I mean, it talks about flipping it over and maybe you'll get a flat surface, but really, the answer is if, you, if, you, if you're gonna get something first, get a jointer and then get a planer or buy them both at the same time which is probably what I'm gonna to have to do I'm gonna to have to go ahead and buy the jointer too because no point wasting your money on one when it's not gonna do the job that it's intended to do for another couple hundred bucks by you know a, a tool that does the right job so I've been milling my own pieces of wood I cut this slug out of a, uh, a round tree branch that uh, it's almost I don't know what this is it's very heavy very hard very dry it's been drying in my backyard for a couple of years now and it came out of a uh, uh, a tree stump a uh, tree round like very much like this one these are going to be coasters when I rip them in half um, it came out of my uh, cut down in my backyard and uh, I'm trying to get into that I've been getting into you know making my own little pieces of lumber so I can make projects and everything else here, let me show you some uh, some projects that I made. I made a handful of handful of little animals. These are cut out of the that's that uh, the wood from my backyard. And this is walnut. This is uh, also the wood from the backyard. This is uh, walnut. Walnut. Backyard. Backyard backyard walnut so you know some pretty cool little things and uh, I get a great sense of satisfaction out of making them out of uh, stuff that I build myself it's pretty satisfying so anyways enough chatter I'm gonna say it again if you're gonna buy if you intend to buy them both eventually get the joiner first then get the planer uh, that's my recommendation now if you don't have the money or if you you know you don't have any long-term plans of having both maybe you can buy the planer and make it work but you know people build sleds and they put shims and it'll take you three hours to do a job that should only take five minutes on a, on a by running it through a joint rather than running it through a planer but hey if you have the time and if you have the uh, the patience to do it go for the planer first uh, also I would recommend getting this DeWalt planer it's $3.99 uh, you can get cheaper ones from Portal Cable for $2.99, but for $100, bucks, this thing is solid, has very low snipe, uh, and it's a DeWalt, which is uh, like an industrial quality uh, tool, you know. It's not for a cabinet shop, probably, but it's it's not a homeowner brand, so. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps.